Good morning. It's Friday, November 25th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Days of Noah, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 6. Then the people began to multiply on the earth, and daughters were born to them. The sons of God saw the beautiful women and took any they wanted as their wives. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not put up with humans for such a long time, for they are only mortal flesh. In the future, their normal lifespan will be no more than 120 years. In those days, and for some time after, giant Nephilites lived on the earth, for whenever the sons of God had intercourse with women, they gave birth to children who became the heroes and famous warriors of ancient times. The Lord observed the extent of human wickedness on the earth, and he saw that everything they thought or imagined was consistently and totally evil. So the Lord was sorry he had ever made them and put them on the earth. It broke his heart. And the Lord said, I will wipe this human race I've created from the face of the earth. Yes, and I will destroy every living thing, all the people, the large animals, the small animals that scurry along the ground, and even the birds of the sky. I am sorry I ever made them. But Noah found favor with the Lord. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, the only blameless person living on the earth at the time, and he walked in close fellowship with God. I can't remember when or who said it, but it was the description of a platypus being the result of a beaver duckosaurus being the assembled result of the committee from hell. As memory serves, it may have been at a committee meeting from a church long ago that shall remain anonymous. The days in which Noah lived, where everyone did what they wanted, not regarding the lives of others, with the result being chaos of the darkest nature, are pictured in Scripture as that which broke God's heart. It was anything but what the Lord had designed. If you compare it to the peaceful, gentle, and beautiful setting described in Eden before sin entered the picture, you can understand why God was so upset. Many years ago, when our children were still in diapers, one of them climbed out of the crib during the night and found the full container of baby powder. In the morning, when we went into the nursery, the container was no longer full, but every crack, crevice, nook and cranny of everything else in the room had baby powder to spare. I compare my feeling on that morning to the events of Noah's days and how God must have felt about his children messing up the environment. In my mind's imaginative eye, I can see God turning on his TV to the Jerry Springer show or some modern reality series where the woman finds out her man's been cheating on her with her best friend's husband, and they're planning to divorce, elope, and adopt a platypus. No church committee can match that, except perhaps the committee in charge of planning an orderly and dignified gay pride parade. If, in light of the previous descriptions, there's any wonder left in your mind about why God decided to start over, give me a call. I'll paint you a picture. For you today, the world news program you watch today, maybe even your local news, will be filled with 95% of the anger, hatred, killing, disaster, and whatever other horrible happenings form the core of 21st century culture. We are living in the days of Noah. Our prayer should always start and end with, Come, Lord Jesus. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.